Okay, so key on engine off. So if you're not in the correct state, when you try and run certain bi-directional controls, resets, relearns, you're gonna get an error message. Sometimes when you first press the, st uh, the push start, um, you'll get you know your lights to turn on and illuminate as if you're in key on engine off, but you may only be in accessory mode, okay? And every manufacturer is a little bit different on how to put them into this key on engine off state. Um, so you wanna make sure that you understand that and are aware of what state you're in um, and why you're, the tool's behaving the way that it is. It'll help you understand why the tool's behaving the way that it is. So on this GM 2022, when I first hit the push start button, it goes into accessory mode and that's the state I'm currently in. I'm gonna go ahead and try and run a bi-directional control here in actuation tests. And then let's go to EVAP emissions test, vent solenoid valve, and I'm expecting to see some type of error message when I try and open or close this vent valve. So I'll say it's venting now, so I'll go to not venting. Device limits exceeded. Incorrect power mode. Check ignition. That's your indicator that you're not in the correct state right now on this vehicle. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and back out and I'm going to put it into the correct state of key on engine off. this vehicle I have to press and hold the push start button while it's in the off state and then it goes into key on engine off and that's the state I'm in now. So now I'm going to go to the vent solenoid valve and we're going to put it into not venting state. Same thing we did on the last test. So not venting. And there you go. Quickly switched. So that's your guys' quick tip. Thank you.